Hi there and welcome back to Karakuyunlu, the Horde of the Black Sheep. And uh, we need to choose to do a lot of things. First, we have a decision to make. Our manpower is very, very low at the moment, so maybe, just maybe, we need to stop the balls for now. I mean, we're a zealot. But we have no really zealot missions here. Like removing Georgia from the map is not bound to faith. Conquer cars is not bound to faith. It's more warriors missions. If it would be a warrior, a, an only a warrior, then we would go for that. But now it's maybe time for the just uh, Iskander to, to give the people some rest. Our manpower reserves need to recover and <laughs> they are at zero so that's really needed too so he'll also give his wife a little bit more time for her hobby architectural visions and maybe he wants to he wants to play some some chess with kara yusuf the gray sheep his heir Go into that. Our manpower reserves need to recover. Corruption is growing, so we need to change that. And we need to make more cores, of course. Of course. Oh my god. That was terrible, right? <laughs> we need to make them quickly. So we can speed it up a little more. So we're quicker then. At least we feel quicker. Let's make that cool. Yeah, we need to get back to to some some money too. We can set down the army maintenance again. High expenses at the moment. What do we have here? The family is left behind. The recent war took a heavy toll on our people. Yes, of course. And you were called few returned. The families of nobles and commoners alike toiled as they waited for soldiers to return home. But the war ended and they never did. Now the toiling continues, many being so preoccupied with the work to make up for the lost pair of hands that they barely have time to grieve. The ones who have time to think. Many are increasingly thinking that we have been throwing away lives too carelessly. And the just trait in us says yes. Maybe we can do something. And it's also about what we can afford. Let us be more lenient drafting for the army in the future. Decrease the drafting. Also has the effect of getting closer to the <laughs> manpower reserves recovery more quickly. Well... <laughs> That's a side effect, but that is a just decision that we can maybe afford. And Wazit is converted. Let's have a look here at Wazit. Basra Edict. Go back to No Edict. And now, some of our provinces lack cause. Yes, I know. So, what should we go for next? Astara is being converted. Maybe we should start to begin with the Orthodox. Mm -hmm. Tbilisi would be the obvious way to start this, right? There is a mosque here, and it's Orthodox. We have unrest here. That will only rise. Forty-nine months. Well, we have to start somewhere. As a zealot, we are going to start. Expiring Kaz's belly? Yeah, we don't care. We don't care about the insults of that nation. They probably have a mad ruler. A babbling... An embezzler, a 
babbling buffoon? No? Well, we don't know. And why do we have such high expenses? That is what I want to know. And the taxation is very low at the moment. Might be that. Reinforcements is one. Rooting out corruption is... Not really needed, right? Oh yeah, we need to be quick with the administrative powers here. I mean, it's costly, nevertheless. Like a Vasa core. We can also invite more scholars. But I mean, the corruption will go away once we have made cores, and then we the, the whole country needs to recover. Might need another loan, even. Our father, the Hazan, and the accountant will would not be would not be happy, and we might need to. Oh no, the land force limit is okay. I thought we should uh, maybe stop that, but now I will just need to we need to wait it out. We're gaining sailors now, and we have clans of Tikrit. What's going on there? They have long supported the Sultan, and they are a pillar of our Federation. In return, however, they expect that their home region of Tikrit and its people will be given priority when the spoils are divided and when we assign important offices. Uh, unruly tribes in Tikrit, or it is time that we show our gratitude. Clans of Tikrit... Where is that? <sighs> Favors have to be earned. Mm, well, we are just. I think we just need to do this because they have been on our side now for a while. And it's time that we show our gratitude in Tikrit. Thankfully, it's only Tikrit, so. It's costing us a lot. We will need another loan. But we just and we've got we just got to do it. We've got a new diplomatic technology, naval ambitions, with an extra boost to naval morale. Our sailors will conquer the waves and rule the seas. While our colonists will be able to brave the dark corners of the world, founding new settlements farther from home than ever before. Yes, yes, that is what we need to do. States demand control of provinces. The Ulima are not happy. Of course, we need to we need to give the Ulima something. What is there? Maybe the swamp of Basra of Samawat. Maybe Karbala. Something not that developed would be good, probably. But giving that to the Ulima would... Mm, all right, that Shat is not currently held by an estate. Shat would be something, right? The Ulima would gain province autonomy. In that case, not. But local unrest would go down, which would be good. Maybe, maybe. No, that can be cannot be done. All right. The territory. Stara. No. Well, shot could be. What else do we have here? Hoise. That thing. Let's give them shut. Increasing the unrest, and they should be happy then. It's time to repair again. 
Our wife will have to wait. Sherman is improved. A jump. Mm. Maybe it's time for counter espionage. Maybe it's just that. Some improving relations, some counter espionage. The Ottomans. They are neutral to us. And we should improve relations again. Also with the Mamluks. Yeah, let's do that now. Let's improve relations with the Mamluks now, and then after that with the Ottomans. Oh, nice. So, Astara. Converted. In the core province. And now we can convert provinces to Shia. Yes. Um, Tbilisi. And Kakheti. We could invite a scholar, but that would cost us administrative power. This would decrease corruption by minus two. Mm. No, not not really. We'll have to toughen this out. It's a tough situation we're in. But it's getting better step by step. Our armies have filled up again. So we're good that way. Rooting out corruption will be our focus. Granted monopolies has expired. Oh, that's good. Let's see. We could grant these again. Ask for a contribution and then grant monopoly charters. Yeah, because we need money now. 10 loyalty and we gain 15. We'll do that. Could impose a new tax. <laughs> they would hate that, but... Hmm... The influence of the minorities will go down. So I'm and we're a zealot, so we're going to impose a new religious tax on the minorities. And the Amirs we could call a diet, maybe no, it's not needed. Back to the core ring. The Alevis of Kakiti. Ho, ho, ho. Um, yeah, the Alevis are Twelvers, believing the coming of the Twelfth Imam. Deeply entrenched in mysticism and Sufism again. Mm -hmm. Kakiti have generally welcomed us as their new overlords, but their mystical traditions are in many ways different from ours. But if we embrace these people, we we'll likely spread the Shia faith much more quickly in the area. Um, in Kakheti. Here. Well, we need to... We don't need to do that. We don't need to move into more mysticism. Well, we welcome them. Administration will, be, will remain in the hands of the local authorities. Yeah, any... Anything that we can do to not go to into mysticism is good for us. Total, uh, what, what, what's that called? Legalists? No, law. Yeah, legalists are we. And now, debate over Sufi practices. Oh no. We will support the hardliners because Sufism is not what we want. Poetry and song about wine and illicit love? No, we'll support the hardliners. That's what a salad would do, right? And Shut is now a province, and we can call Basra. Quite nice. So corruption 
is going down corruption cost. So we're slowly getting where we want to get. And look at this. Akko Yunlu is now allied with the Mamluks and has war with the Ottomans. They have changed. Changed their alliances. What a great chance. My god, this is... Oh, history, why do you give us such great chances? Hovese is now considered a part of our patrimony. But to go up against the Mamluks, they are still powerful. Mali has a civil war. And Ladislav is the new emperor. Right, Ottomans, if the Ottomans ask for something, you say yes. It's also a little bit terrible that they are so powerful. And terrifying. Maybe, though, we can use this. Can we maybe get on the good side of the Ottomans? They kind of like us now. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And there's no real counterpart. Hungary isn't good enough. The Papal State is a little bit bigger, but not good enough. Austria hasn't grown at all. Muscovy has won greatly. That's the thing. What's going on here? We have no great income. We, we're we just... How has that come? Look at that. Tax income loss and upkeep of the Holy Shrine. That breaks us somehow. That's not good to us. Not good for us. Um, hmm. Even though we have relatively good trade... We're not really in a good situation for that. So look, Orthodox zealots, mm, Indonesian separatists, Georgian separatists. I don't know. We'll just beat them down militarily. Our trader has died. Oh. We mourn him and we need to... Get someone good, probably Shah Rukh Dae, Dae. Or can the merchants guilds give us give us someone? Hmm. No, not not really someone better, right? Shah Rukh Dae. There we go. Maybe we need even to fire advisors. Look at that. That is terrible. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> the Ottomans are taking over everything. Avaz. Also our province now. And the last one is Basra. Costs are going down slightly. Oh, and we're secretive. Foreign spy detection, 20%. Oh. So we don't want... Ah, more, ah the grey sheep. Oh, that is fitting, right? He's secretive. Natural instinct to keep doors closed and let us encrypt it trickles down and will make our entire government harder to infiltrate for our enemies. Oh, <laughs> that is something that could help us a lot. Also, like the counter espionage, he's probably loving it. He's probably um, in there helping these, even at 15. So, <laughs> well then, let's see what we can do in the future. Maybe we'll 
try to attack Akko Yunlu after that war. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. May the hold of the black sheep be with you.